this video we will learn how to create a bar chart starting with basic then we will learn how to change the width of columns in a bar chart then changing color then the alignment then stacking two columns in a bar chart stacking multiple columns in one bar chart and then how to add the legends hello everyone welcome to the channel learn area to understand the concept very clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon like i always say to start with matplotlib it is very important that you should have basic knowledge of pandas and then you can start with matplotlib so here first you need to import matplotlib so that you can create the charts here i have created a sample data set which is hsbc card which is shown over here this contains four columns one is country then volumes in millions amount in billions and the population of each of the country all right so we will be using this data frame to create our bar charts so let's start with this plt dot bar we're gonna say start the parenthesis operator and here first we're gonna put the value which we want to show at x-axis so that here i want to show countries at x-axis now what is the value that you want to use at y-axis on y-axis i want to plot volume in millions and then let's select this and run it here we go now here we have our first basic chart created now you must be thinking how do we know what are the parameters to put where for that you can just click on the bar chart and from your keyboard you can just press ctrl plus i this will show you the arguments accepted in this bar plot all right now let's go back to the plot tab and try to change the width of this plot how can we change the width of this plot so for that you just need to type width equals to and provide the value by which you want to change the width let's say 0 0.5 and run this like you can see the width has been reduced for each of the column in this bar chart similarly if you want to change the color how can you change that color so you can just type color and put the value put the name of the color let's say gray the color has been changed to gray so this is how you can change the color now what if we want to change the alignment before we change that let's un understand how the alignments work so like you if you can notice this thin line this is in the center of this particular column similarly here this thin line is in the center of this particular column so this is the center alignment when you change the alignment this column will be at edge of this particular line so there are two alignments which we can use over here center is the default alignment and is is the alternative alignment which we can use over here let's see how can we do that you just need to type align and then put the value age after putting that value you can just create this and now let me show you if you can notice previously this line was in the center now this is at the left means the line is at the same place column has been moved at the edge all right so this is how you can change the alignment if you want this alignment you can keep this i am just going to remove this because i particularly didn't like this so i am just going to remove that alignment and let's keep as it is now let's see what next that we have over here this was the uh, alignment now we will learn how to stack the columns so first column which we had used was ml volume in millions now next we are gonna use 
is amount in boolean so when you run this two columns will be created let's see what happens when you run these two lines all right so if if you can see it has overwritten it right it has overwritten it like for india you can see the value is 3 billion for canada you can see the value is somewhere less than 3 let's change the color so that billion could show in different color let's make it blue and try this so on this country we can see two values one is amount the other one is volume but for rest of the countries we can see that why because million value for uk if you see uk is the second last parameter for that volume is 1.9 while amount is 6 billion which is more than the volume so that's why it has covered the volume right so how can we fix that for that you can just use the parameter bottom let's see how can we use that you don't have to do much just type bottom and put the value put the column which you want to show in the bottom so in the bottom i want to show this particular variable at the bottom i want to keep this like this and let's run it now oops i just don't have to put the comma over here like you can see this if you notice india and the uh, this line is at 2 and then this line is at 3 so in total it makes 5 out of which 2 million this indicates the volume and from 2 to 5 this indicates amount similarly for canada it's one for volume and then the rest is rest two is for amount all right so this is how you can stack two columns now let's see how can we stack three columns so again just copy this and paste it over here now what is the column which you want to put at the top population i want to put at the top so at the top we have population at the bottom we have volume but there is one more variable which we want to which we would like to include which is amount in billion right so again like previous we had just one variable to put at the bottom but this time we have more than one variable so we can use plus and we can paste the other variable name let me just bring it down so that it could clear so like you can see here at the top we have population then at the bottom we have two columns one is volume in millions then other one is amount in billion similarly you can put as many columns as you want in bottom list all right now select this and let's run this all right one mistake which we have made over here we didn't change its color so let's make it orange and let's run this so like you can see at the top we have population then we have then we have amount and then we have volume so this is how you can stack as many columns as you want but there is one problem we have to focus to understand what color represents what column right for that to solve this problem we can use legends how can we use that so for that you just need to type plt dot legends and here in this you can provide the list of 
variables which list of columns which you want to show like first we first we have amount sorry volume so let's put volume over here then we have amount it starts from bottom and will go to the top and then we have population let's see let's try this seems like there is some error let me put it in square bracket like you can see so at the word uh, gray color indicates that its volume in million then blue color represents its amount in billion then orange color indicates its population all right so this is how you can add the legends if you want to change the position of legends you can do that as well how you can do that just use the location parameter loc that's it and then you put the value what are the locations which we can use let's try upper right and let's run this like you can see the legends have been moved to upper right corner similarly you can use center lower right lower left and so on so this is how you can use the legends and this is how you can create a stacked bar graph or a simple bar graph or you can change the colors and so on so thank you very much for being with us and watching the video hope this helped you just in case if you have any kind of doubt don't forget to put that into the comment section we will try to solve your doubts as soon as possible thank you